Dumps with Danino coming back at you with another part of Red Dead Redemption. We're at part number six. This part in particular, I'm going to spend a good amount. So get yourself a beer, get yourself something nice to drink, and, and we can enjoy the ride. Um, yeah, so a few updates. Uh, actually, I have a bit. My boy, he's lit up. I got these little spotlight things. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. But I got some spotlight things that make um hit or spotlights that like I can focus a light on him and I could choose like whether it's red, green, blue, or you know, all those shenanigans. Um and you might notice that the lighting, at least on me, is a little different. I don't know if I like this yet. I'm just gonna test it out and test the waters and see how it looks. But these lights, they're essentially for um monitors so you it's like one of the monitor lights you like mount okay so like let's say my frame is the is the monitor you mount a light right here and it shines over you directly straight and i have them on both of my monitors over here i obviously don't have it on my laptop because i don't fucking need it there but i have them both here and i left them on i, I wasn't gonna even use them but i left them on and then i turned on the webcam and like hey it kind of you know it, it gives better lighting given the fact that i do uh, this this camera does do 60 frames per second it helps a lot uh you know with the 60 frames and all that and just it helps with better lighting while giving the doesn't affect anything in the back but yeah i'm gonna test it out see if i like it see if i don't the the reason why i'm saying i'm probably not gonna like it is just for the fact that it's um it shines down so you can clearly see like right here you know, my arms are like way fucking white or white. They're way brighter than my face. And when I move my face, you know, you can see my, my cap is pretty, pretty bright. Uh, I guess one thing that I did want to see is how well it, uh, how well it, cause you, uh, you know, like whenever I get fucked up, I like to show you what kind of beer I'm drinking and then I put it right to the camera. I want to see like how well it does. Oh, that's, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It looks like the camera has a has a lot better uh, exposure, like adjusting to the exposure. But I guess we'll just have to test it out on a faded Friday. Fuck it. But anyways, guys, today is Sunday uh, for everyone watching the NFL and all that shit. I know I have a lot of friends that do it. Me personally, I'm not a big football fan. Uh, if I was to go to, for a team, I'd go for the for the Rams. But um, yeah, guys, I mean, I hope everyone's safe, calm and collected at their home today is sunday so kick back relax get yourself some food get yourself some water i do not recommend drinking unless you do not work tomorrow but i am working on you so yeah i'm gonna get right right to the ad right into this bitch we're in part number six as i said before so this is gonna be a pretty pretty long part so yeah guys let's let's get to this shit <sighs> I saw fucking goat over here. Hey, come on. Yeah, those are the dudes that I bodied. Uh, newspaper. Hola. Um, why is it in English? That's all I can say. Why is it in English? Uh, which one? That's my horse, right? Yeah. Um, alright, let's go do some more Ricketts missions. Uh, I don't think there's too much left, but we'll see. I'm afraid I'm married. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> hey, gringo! Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. 
<laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Yeah. I thought they already had that dialogue. Well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self pity. Sounds like a plan. Is this yeah. just a fucking cutscene? Mr. Ricketts. Oh, just Mr. Kidding. Ricketts. <laughs> thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, this particular cutscene uh, said a lot about Marston's story. Uh, I typically forget that at the very beginning and throughout the whole game, you, he doesn't really say much. It kind of all like right. here we go again. It kind of all makes sense at the end. Donna! At least for me, it did. I mean, now I know what the fucking story is about. Um, but it's pretty interesting. It's kind of fucked up too. Uh, not trying to spoil the ending, but it is. Up, Not the best, but I mean, it is what it is. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Ricketts. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd live the... Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. Come on! Well, see if you can take line. control of that first wagon. Yeah! Shot that hat Yes, I am. Oh, man. We're taking oh these God. prisoners. Get that for you, fucker. Shot that horse. Right. 
As much as I would like to root them, probably not the best idea. Every time I want to talk and say something, I always get cut off by this fucking game. from here I know you got other matters to attend to it's been nice riding with you mr. Ricketts <laughs> and you too you took me back to another time talk to Louisa she'll help you and she's well connected in that other land I hope you find what you're looking for Marston you know what I'm I looking for <laughs> if you say so Marston if you say so Yeah, there's definitely a um, lot to be said after that particular line. Whenever uh, Ricketts tells him, I hope you know what you're looking for, or I hope you find what you're looking for. And um, John replies, you know what I'm looking for. And then Ricketts just laughs and he says, yeah. uh, I forgot what he said. He said he hopes or some shit like that. Um, or whatever you think. Or, I don't know. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is, is just the fact that Marston is too blinded by um, killing these guys and stuff. And he doesn't really care or look at what really matters, quote unquote. And that's why Ricketts just laughs because he's like, uh, like he kind of knows this is the beginning of the end for him. Beginning of the end, quote unquote. Hey. That's arm wrestling. But yeah, this is like I said, this uh he knows it too, and you know, if you played the game, you know it as well, but it, yeah, it's kinda sad. Uh we're on the American side. We're in America. So we need to go over to to the D. Okay, 
those. They look big as hell. Vultures, hell yeah. Come on. Sounds pretty expensive if you ask me. Anyways, guys, like I was saying, today is September 12th. Yesterday I wasn't too much in a, in a rush to really um, talk about 9-11. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I mean, very unfortunate, obviously, what happened 20 years ago. Um, and nothing much I could say because I was only five whenever that shit happened. And I was in kindergarten. Come on! So, I did want to bring it up on on the stream just to commemorate those who did uh, lose their lives that day, but I don't want to speak about it too much because I myself don't know. I mean, not that I don't know anything about it because I did my research and all of that stuff, but it's just let's go. It's a tragedy, man. Um, definitely a tragedy. But enough of this. Um, this uh, talk, I gotta set up a fucking campsite. And we gotta go. What the fuck? Better camp? Better spot for camp. Come on! Oh fuck, you know what, guys? There's something that I wanna buy. I'm a fucking idiot, too. Like, I, I just completely forgot about it. But it's, it's something I, I wanna fucking get. Yeah, I need to set up the campsite and go over to, um, all the fuck we over here. To the store. I think the general store might have it. There we go. But I need to fucking find a good spot to set up a campsite. Because apparently, I don't know where to set up. This looks good. Bro, that, those fucking birds flew right through that pile of dirt. God damn it. No, fuck! There we go. Oh, there goes my horse. He's all, fuck you, you got a new one. He's exactly the same as him. Damn it. Alrighty, guys. So, in this game, you could, uh, whenever you kill people, it doesn't matter if you were seen or not, you automatically get a bounty and your fame goes down and all that shit. But there is something you could buy, I think, at this particular, uh, store. Um, here, sir. Hello. Please peruse at your leisure. Or not. What's rabbits, but. Makes you lucky, which increases the items and money you loot by 20%. Well, that's a good investment. I'll actually probably be back for that one, but... Let me go check the gun store. I could have sworn it was here, though. Better off riding with me, mister. What the bro? I'm not going to that. Dripping. Whoa, mister. I don't want to say just yet what I want to buy. I mean, if you're a veteran of the game, I'm pretty sure you know what, but... If I can't find it here, then I'll probably say what it is. I wonder if they do sell it here. Hi there. Can I show you something special, sir? I mean, don't. All right, anyways, guys, what, what I want to get is um is a bandana. So whenever you wear the bandana, you're allowed, um, you're able to shoot and do, like, crimes without being seen. Here we are. Um, 
Do I have enough? Well, oh, then. dude, I just have enough for that thing. But That's give me a second. I'm actually going to look up where I can get the bandana. Because actually, I really do want it. Somebody's going to come boil this town soon. Need fine artillery. They're been locking people up for no reason. Is that what you heard? All right, it says in, Red in Redemption 1, the player can purchase a bandana for $20 from the general store in Escalera or the trailers, the tailors. Oh, it's the next door. High honor in Escalera or lower the fees. I saw my boy. Hey there. But isn't there a certain thing you need to achieve before you do it? Uh, but I think like he's talking about right here. Yeah, this is where you buy. Yeah, you see, it's twenty bucks. Elegant suit. That's what I need. We need to speak later. Yeah, I mean, I would really have liked to to use that money to buy that <laughs> to buy that fucking strap on, but you know. Oh wait, I need to go get that rabbit thing first. You get the rabbit thing. And then you get the, or you don't get anything else after that. Because just with the rabbits, uh, thing alone, I'm able to. Uh, what you waiting for? Take a swap. Fuck it, I need money. too early that's bullshit there's no fucking way it's because i think i pushed the the right stick up before i pushed the whatever fuck they take me all the fuck way here that's bullshit I really gotta stop fucking around. I'm gonna do all that shit off stream. Get that rabbit's uh, paw or whatever the fuck it was. And then all that shit. But yeah, I did want to get that. Um... I did want to get the... the bandana though. My boy Hasbula straight chilling over there. There we go. Yeah, there's it's been a few times where people point him out and people don't even know who he is. So uh I had to get him a little light. Now you guys can see him perfectly. What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country. My poor little country. And you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend.
Relax, Amiga, relax. Uh, hey. Sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo. Uh, Let's go meet, drink, and then we'll talk. Fucking Mexican. My name me. is Capitan Vicente de Santa. I'm Mexican, by the way. No, but it's pretty fucking accurate. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am a uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm-hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. But it's tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the... He has a bottle of fucking right? Patron. This guy ain't fucking around. I fucking hate tequila, though. Like, I, I fucking hate it. It breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I I can do whiskey. Mr. Marston. I can do vodka. I can do anything American. but tequila, An man. It's, uh, named Bill Williamson. Shit's tough. I believe you came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham. Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. <sighs> Vámonos! I don't know if you had a yellow like that. Are you going like to that, ride with but, uh, me? Uh, I'll ride with uh, DeSanto. Hang on the back, though. I just want to see if there's any dialogue. That's it. We must be quick. It's a long ride to Chuparosa. Yeah, there is. Or not. You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly about other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Sounds about it. Yeah, there's always like some. I, I've noticed in all of Rockstar's games, there's like the main story, then there's like. It's not for now. Political side ready? of it all, too. Ready for what? Yeah, but I mean, it just gives you the attack. sense of what there's time There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. 
We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting! Damn it, no! Come on! This way! Hurry! Come on! There is a train! We must escort it to Casa Madrugada! No! Fuck, dude, yes. I almost hit him from uh, an accident. Let's try this over again. I'm actually going to use the repeater only. Fuck the Springfield. I'm just afraid that whenever I use the, 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 the fucking repeater is that... Uh... Oh, at least I got my war horse. Fuck. But what I was going to say is that I think whenever I use the repeater, like they obviously take up just less damage.
Too bad. So I'm actually trying. One. I swear a whole lot of them are gonna come out. Best. Good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. Who the fuck is that? Oh, fuck. Los rebeldes están robando el tren! Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía, levántese. Usted también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. All right, let's do this. Should be easy. Uh, what? Fuck! Now let me start from the back.
damn, this fucking horse is fast. Okay, dude, I was not that deep. That is fucking bullshit. There was not a bridge anywhere near where I was at. It's light work, though. Yeah, dude, that fucking water looks amazing in 4K. I just had to bring it up. I just laughed because I was like, caught myself really looking at the water and admiring it on 4K. That looks fucking amazing. Huh. <laughs> Alright, let's go do some more uh, DeSanta missions. Before I do that, I need to uh, set up shop. Oh, whoa, 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 there's a fucking snake right there. You fucking bastard. I don't like him. Fucking shoot his head. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Fuck you. Yeah, the snakes, whenever you skin them, look kind of fucking Come on. Let's funky. Let's get this over with. Bitch. Yeah, I... S yeah, we can set up shop for you. What's up, bitches? So I think this is where I meet the El Jefe. Your own maricón. Me das asco. Hablas leotan, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está pelado, verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. Honor. ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? Ya estás de menos, we hope to defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? Then <laughs> <laughs> see what you say. <laughs> I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. And they turned their back on him. 
Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> they she only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Fuck it. Baboso, cuantos veces voy a decirte, no ponga detrás de mí. And you can tell, he, you can definitely tell that uh, Marston is getting tired of doing all these favors and shit. We will meet them there. Come on. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. But that town is Allende actually pretty cool. Any I know I don't do much. He knows um, that situation can never be allowed to control shit, him. But that it is what really a leader cool. must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. And he's impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry! You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on! I will race you there! Come on! You what can the do fuck? better than that! I'll fucking shoot you off your fucking horse and do this shit again. Taking any prisoners, then. Well, there they are. We will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. They are animals. We will slaughter them accordingly. He's suppressing me, Gordo. Why are you stopping? Stop that. Por qué tardaste tanto? ¿Y quién es este gringo? Ostavio, favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I'm not. 
see I'm not even helping. Oh, motherfucker. Don't do it, don't see it. Fucking bodies. Sorry about this, partner. I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. <laughs> Remember, nobody takes them before I end it. We did all this just to get women for a Linde? <laughs> it's no, terrible. It's just a bonus. Oh. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico! Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Fuck, is that ruthless? Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Get the fire bottles! It is time to finish what we started! Por aquí, imbécil! Por qué no me sigues? Hold LB to pull down the radio menus for like... Oh. Go on! Burn it down to the ground! Go on! Now burn another one! Bro, all I wanted to do was fucking loot those bodies and shit. Fucked up. Hello, the stream is laggy you to really me. I'm going pathetic. to change the settings. You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. I wonder why is that, buddy? Sorry for that. Probably because I'm uh, streaming in 1080p, 60 frames. Uh, my performance looks good. But uh, welcome, Bo, Bo, Go, Go, B, B, Moo, Moo, 965. <laughs> Where did you even come up with that name, buddy? That is that is a long name to pronounce. I'm just gonna call you Bobo. Next mission to do is more DeSanta mission. DeSanta. Set up shop really quick. Start this next mission. Escalera, whoa. What? Why seven? What fucking time is it? It's 12. Damn it, I just missed him then. Where's the closest safe house? I'm just gonna go down to the town, see if there's a, a house or something. Is, but how much is it? Bingo! They say you fast with the pistola. I think I am faster. Fuck it. I need to redeem Only myself. Way to find out. Vamos, gringo! I wish everyone to see me be a hero. Okay, let's do this. Alright, don't fuck up this time. I fucked up bad last time. Loot his 
body Excuse real quick. Me, I ain't getting fresh. How much is this house? 150. How much do I have? Too much. Dude, nah, I'm not gonna fucking buy it. I'm just gonna go fucking have a campsite and take it in half. Save it should uh fast forward another six hours or so. Yeah, what time is it? Fuck. Or no, that yeah, that's already that's time already, yeah. It's like seven something. Ooh, look at that bunny, I'm fucking shooting with my shotgun. over with what's barking come on you fucking horse dude holy hell Probably the first time it rained since I've been playing this game. Oh, yeah. oh shit, look at that. Empty promises. It looks like it was supposed to rain. Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the man you seek. Come. There's a combo waiting for us. Come, we must hurry. That's random. Come on! Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Habrán reyes, tiene un verdadero ejército. Dicen que hay cientos de hombres apostados a Torquemada. Hurry the fuck up, DeSanto. Cállense la boca, idiotas. Son campesinos nada más. Y todos se van a morir hoy. Bro, how much longer do you take just to get off your fucking horse? Captain Espinosa has set a cap at the base of the mesa. We will join forces with him there. Yeah, let's get to destination. Okay. I should have listened to the dialogue, but. Our stone, wake up. We're almost there. Yes, Coronas. Stay alert. Something it doesn't feel right. right now. So now oh, cover up. Shit. We need to get to the camp. What the fuck happened? Follow me. We will leave the wagon 
de carajo están los otros que necesitamos? ¡Nos van a masacrar con estos pocos! Los rebeldes que tú y tus hombres se habían habido encargado nos atacaron. Ten cuidado con ese tono de voz. Master, come on. Ignore the stupid aim. Shut your mouth off his boy! Gringo! Take that sniper rifle over there. We at men's work. Thank God. Finally they gave me a good gun. What the fuck is it? That's a lot of bodies to fucking loot. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Bro, I need the fucking money. I'm not gonna miss this opportunity either. Shut the fuck up! You guys aren't paying me for this shit. These fuckers might. Almost done. Payday, payday. What are you yeah, waiting for? Traidor! Get out this boot, though! Where else is that it? Now what the? Destroy a nos a todos! Miss like fucking. Oh shit! No, there's more bodies to loot. Shut the fuck up. Nah, there wasn't too much more. Uh, oh, there's a good amount. Four bodies. Chewing tobacco? What the fuck do I want chewing tobacco for? You take the snipers. We can hold up the rest. Shit. All right, all right, all right. Well, I don't want to be fucking. Where are they? Okay. Fuck. Well, you guys didn't. All right, you guys don't even need me. Take care of the snipers, and you guys did all the fucking sniping. I'm just here to do all the looting. You know what? Yeah, fair, fair trade. Um, you guys kill all the dudes while I loot everybody's bodies. I 
guess I can't get back here. Oh, there's a light up front. You should have run away. Oh, there's a bunch of sniper ammo here. No! Okay, yes, I yes I know. I know no 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 no. no. Alright, I'm not gonna fail this mission just because I'm fucking looting body and shit. God damn it! Damn, there's just so many fucking people. Alright, I think I need to actually kinda try now. Don't it just looks like there's a lot of Try this on the side! So many bodies, but no looting. It's fucked up. Now the stream stopped too laggy. That's weird. You already play RD2? No, I have not. I wonder if it is laggy, dude. I don't know if it's on your end or if it's on my end. All in good time. My man and I will finish our business here and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> Go get Drogo, get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a hmm. beautiful struggle! <laughs> um, yes, I have RD2. Uh, no, I have not played it. But I do plan on um, beating this first and then playing RD2. <sighs> Well, fuck, it's not like- oh wait, yeah, there's a, there are hella bodies here. I just want to fall off that cliff, dude. Ooh, yeah, I do not want to do that. Fucking John, just fucking think for once. What can I say, partner?
Oh, there's the body. Fuck that. <sighs> I mean, I made a lot of fucking money off of this mission. I'm not gonna lie. No, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I don't think it'll let me set up shop right here, does it? Yeah, it does. Where's the next Asanta mission anyways? Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, hopefully this last mission will give us some leads as far as um, the dude that this motherfucker is trying to find. Ooh. I wonder what's in here. $13? That's it? Wow, that was probably like 130 bucks back in the day then. Oh, fuck. and you can't even jump over a fucking like a five or six foot rock. Dude. Come on. Come on. Hey. Alright. Time to go to the other mission. To the DeSanta mission. Escalera, oh. Mexican Caesar. Say Caesar. Andeles lindas y patrióticas. Dale que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Oh, mi amor, Redita está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a ser tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain de Santa? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. De Santa, mariconcito. Me encontraste en algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita. ¿Dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. The two patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, ah, the coronel. Fantastic. I love patriots. Hey, <laughs> Sergeant Marston, you here to fight the war? And we shall make a patriot of you yet. I hope so. <laughs> Any word of those men? That ass. Oh, yes, I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él, tell him what I wanted. Huh? <laughs> His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous, but you'll have the honor of. <laughs> Another patriot? Fucking horrible. Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. Okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing Fucking it. bet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hurry, we must go. <laughs> So, am I gonna fucking find this dude or not? Oye, oh, yeah, gringo! Are you awake? Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Yeah, the di if I remember right, the dialogue on this mission, like, the guy's acting very suspicious. There's a shovel on the side of the fucking... 
Train through rebel held country. An ambush feels about right to me. Soldado! Get it! Qual squadron? Somos nuevos reclutas, Capitan! Es nuestra primera asignación! I knew I had not seen these men before. They are new recruits! In Escalera! People have been talking about the rebels planning a large attack. If these supplies are so important, why have we been given so few soldiers? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not I brainless. remember this part. There is so something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. Yeah, dead ass. told me that the Santa the had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabrón hates me. Yeah, but doesn't everybody hate you? Maybe we should turn back or wait for reinforcements. If Melinda says he knows where Javier Escuela is, we're doing what he asks. I thought you obeyed. Four of them! They're all above us! Bro, why do I always have to kill everybody? Fuck, man. Estos pedrechos son del gobierno mexicano! Is that our trade? Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. You shoot well, Gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? Why you ask so many fucking questions? Oh, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. Do you want to know what mine is? No. Not particularly. Truth. You're ridiculous. Truth. Nothing hurts a traitor more than the knowledge his enemy fights for something true and noble. We are close to Chuparrosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? Why the fuck do you keep pesos asking questions? That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? Put the gun down, gringo. Stop you asking think I am going to tell you questions. if you were going to shoot me, you would have done it already. Do not take me for a fool. <sighs> I've given you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and, of course, you come. Money and the chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? I've done everything you've asked of me. If Belinde doesn't give me a Escuela and Williamson after this, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fucking problems. Here we are at last. Yeah. Volados, abordamos Never ride a shotgun with your dumb ass again. Probably gonna die in this mission for all I know. And that'll be by fucking me. Put the gun down, gringo. <laughs> Alright, let's go, fucker. 
If you were going to shoot me, you would have done it already. Oh, okay. All right, I, I remember this mission now. I do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. You recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Do you have an eye patch? What the fuck is that on his right eye? It looks like an eye patch. Vamonos! Mante anse alerta! Get behind that gun! I am not taking any chances! I hope you know how to use that gun! Can't be that hard! I'm Just fucking point, blow the your head you aiming at me! Shut the fuck For up, you, We will all be killed! Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself. Where are all these dudes at? I remember whenever I played this mission for the first time, like all that dialogue and all the shit that he was saying made me believe that they were setting me up. No, I don't see shit. Oh, there they are. Fuck! Stay away from me! God damn it. Only if I had a fucking mouse and a cursor and shit. Oh, fuck you, all these guys. Tell us.
Fuck. How to definitely stretch out to that shit? Holy hell! Oh my god, I thought it was over. I can't even. I can't even reach those guys. To look at all this shit for the scenery. That was madness. You did well, Patrick. I don't think the Sand expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Till I find a squaler, he's Bro, more used to me alive. Now this is what I call peacemaking. Oh, there's dudes right now. Fuck! You motherfucker, you better not make me start from the beginning. I'm gonna be fucking mad if you do. I think that's all of them. Oh, thank you. not have to go. The base camp is just at the top. I'm just not gonna touch the controller anymore. I'm gonna put it right here. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I can promise you in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Until I find a squaler, he's more used to me a lot. was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos! Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. Alrighty, guys. Looks like we are done here. Yeah, becoming more famous, posses, bounty hunters, and other pursuits wait twice as long before repeatedly accosting you. Who the fuck's shooting? Fucking rat. Uh, yeah, fucking coyotes, people on horses shooting other fucking deers and shit. But anyways, alright guys, I'm gonna stop the part here. Uh, I feel we made... Good amount of progress, despite the fact that I fucked up once and these missions are kind of long. Um, so yeah, I think the next stream will be tomorrow. So Monday, not sure what time. Probably 6 or 7 uh, Pacific time, if you're curious. But anyways, guys, if you're on Twitch, make sure to head over to YouTube. Check me out there. Watch any parts you guys didn't watch. If you're on YouTube, make sure to go over to Twitch. Follow, I mean, yeah, follow me. Do whatever the fuck you want there, too. That way you can see me play this shit live and um, chat me up, do whatever you guys want. But anyways, it's Dunzo Danino signing the fuck out. I'll see you guys tomorrow on part number six, I believe. Making a lot of progress, guys. I don't know. My challenge and my goal is to beat this uh, game within 10 parts, but we'll just wait and see. But anyways, guys, see you on the next one. Deuces.